a quarterback recently reclassed 2024, six feet, one seventies playing at Trinity college. Uh, but he is going to be going down to St. Thomas more down in Connecticut. Thanks for joining me today, Harry. Yeah, thanks for having me. Just tell us a little bit about how you got started football and how it's progressing so far. Well, I got started off grade nine, first season of football at Trinity College School. I was just a little 5'5 five, five kid, like maybe 115 pounds, just trying to have some fun playing football. And we started off, we played seven on seven. And it was a great experience for me. It's like our first time at the JS, like little side level, having a solid team. I think we went, we went all the way to the finals. And we lost the game in the rain to Campbellford High School. Came back after the COVID year. We played them again in seven on seven in my senior season. And we beat them pretty handily, which was fun. And then we also played some 12 on 12 games, which is great to play some real football. You must have been so pumped to get back on the field. Oh, yeah. Huge excitement. So have you always played at quarterback or have you played other positions? Yeah, I think I've always, always wanted to play quarterback and throwing the ball with my dad since I was like six years old in the hallways of my house and everything. What do you like most about that position? I love the leadership and being able to coordinate my whole team and just have them kind of rally around you and support and just have that control in your hands at all times. It's great. What type of player would you say you are? Uh, as a quarterback, I'd say I'm a dual threat quarterback. I say I'm pretty clutch when it when it matters and pretty good leader as well. Do you kind of model or look up to any professional player? Yeah, I look up to Russell Wilson and Kyler Murray the most, I'd say. What type of coaching do you best respond to? I'd say I respond best to coaching that's a little bit harder on you, more reliant on your own work and what you put forward and sitting back, but also hard on you as well. During the season, what's your favorite part? There's so many things. I love the whole season. Definitely bus rides with the team after a win and that fourth quarter feeling where you need to put 100% effort in to get that win. And then it, it all works out in the end. It's the best feeling. How did your season go this last year? It went pretty well. We had three, well, two real 12 on 12 games and one kind of jamboree. We played sack our first game in two years, which was, it was tough, but we, we held our own. We got a couple of touchdowns in and then we played some seven on seven, which was, it was pretty fun for the, for the guys just to play a little bit of football. We won all of those games. And then we played, we played St. St. Mike's okay. as the jamboree and that was it was fun for the guys, but we really, really wanted like an actual game, which was tough that we didn't yeah. get that. And at the end of the year, we played UCC at UCC. Okay. And it was a close game the whole time. Came down to a couple fourth quarter scores, which was it was a great experience just to have like a comeback win at the end of the season. What are your goals for this offseason? To get ready for the change in, in, in play, playing down in the States, just get myself ready physically and especially mentally, just reading the defense. And being able to keep up with the change that I'm going to experience going down south. What do you want to accomplish next football season? It's going to be uh, quite a change for you. Yeah, I'm trying to accomplish just getting comfortable with the game, yeah. feeling like slowing down the play and being able to read the defense at a, at a level that I think is going to make me successful at the next level. And also just to, just to earn that starting spot at some point in the season. How do you balance your sports, training, schoolwork, family, social life? How do you handle all that? It's, it's tough at some points, definitely. There's sometimes you have, to, you have to sacrifice other things to make time for th things that are important. And I always like to keep family back in my mind and people who support me are a key priority. But to also be a little bit selfish in terms of making sure I'm doing everything for myself that I can possibly. How do you handle playing at a high level, the, the pressure? I mean, you are a quarterback, so you, I hope you handle that pressure pretty good. So how do you, how do you handle it? Yeah, I find I'm pretty cool under pressure. I'm just able to always stay calm and, and be able to think critically in every pressure situation by just gathering my thoughts and breathing and not letting anything come too quickly and make any harsh decisions. Just always staying level-headed definitely helps me stay calm under pressure. You mentioned your family, uh, so it sounds like you've got a pretty good group of people supporting you and helping you reach your goals. Definitely, yeah. My dad has been always, he's been huge, big help, drawing them all the time during COVID, drives me to camps. It's amazing. Don't know what to do without him. How has the recruiting process been for you so far? Um, and what are you looking forward to, you know, going forward? You'll be down in the state, so it's going to be a, a bit different for you. 
Yeah, so recruiting process has been a slow start, but it's, it's definitely, it's building and it's getting a lot faster as of recently. And had a couple of conversations with uh, schools in Canada and a little bit in the States, going down for visits to a couple universities in the States, which is really pumped up for that. And yeah, I'm just hoping it keeps building from there. I'll get a couple offers. Do you have like kind of a short list of schools that you really want to see either up here in Canada or down south? Yeah, down south, I really want to visit Michigan and Syracuse, Pitt. And yeah, those are top schools right now. What are you looking to take program wise? So like uh, academically? Academically, I'm really into engineering. Is that what you want to be as an engineer when you're done playing? Definitely. Any specific type of engineering or? Uh, Mechanical, maybe. What are you watching on like Netflix or uh, I don't know, whatever streaming service? Uh, Netflix right now, I'm just watching Top Boy, actually. Dogs or cats? Dogs, 100%. Do you have a dog? I did, yeah. What was it? What kind? Border Collie and German Shepherd. Sweet or salty? Sweet, 100%. Do you have a go-to sweet thing? Skittles. What would be a dream destination for a vacation for you? I'd have to say the Cayman Islands. A genie you meet, he gives you three wishes. You can't ask for more wishes and you can't raise people from the dead. What are your three wishes? Definitely health for my whole family and my friends. Probably buy, get my dad a nice house. Just your dad? That's it? Yeah, Nobody else gets a house? Like, only one wish. <laughs> uh, third wish, I'd say uh, like a 4140. It's the NFL draft. You've been picked. You're going up on the stage. What does your suit look like? Red velvet suit with some, with some Jordans on. A red velvet. Okay. You're like flashy. Yeah. And Jordans. Yeah, probably some 12s. All right. You've been thinking about this. Oh, yeah. Pineapple on pizza or not? Oh, yeah. Gotta have it. Who's winning a fight between Spider-Man or Batman? Spider-Man. Easy. Why? It's easy. He's got he's got agility. You just seen the new movies. He's got like some crazy abilities now. Spider sense. Crazy abilities. Yeah, I've not seen the new one. So. Oh, you got to. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, it's just a hot dog. Why? You ask for a sandwich, you never give someone a hot dog. Is that it? That's all you're giving me? Oh, my God. What's on your music playlist? Uh, a lot of Drake, Kendrick, uh, J. Cole. A lot of, a little bit of everything. You know, some Migos. Well, Harry, thanks for taking the time to let us get to know you a little bit better. And good luck down south Thank next you. year. That will be a, a pretty cool experience for you, I think. Yeah, appreciate it. Looking for more exclusive Canadian recruiting content? Become a CFC Insider Gold or Silver member today for access to rankings, analysis, and the latest recruiting news from across the country.